Problem statement. I want to create a cannon turret thing that can aim and shoot at people. Solution. This video. First, I need a way to launch my projectiles, for which a good starting point is a potato cannon. These cannons are a connection of PVC pipes and propulsion source, either combustion or compressed air. I built one using compressed air, but a lot of energy was being lost due to friction, air bypassing the projectile, or just my shoddy PVC connection. So long story short, now I have this. Rather than using compressed air to propel a projectile, I'm converting it into a mechanical force with a pneumatic cylinder so that it could strike whatever is in the barrel, launching it. With that, I no longer need a PVC encapsulated airtight potato as my shot, which is good because I still intend to use my teeth in the future. Instead, I could just use a tennis ball, uh, which might still hurt, but better than bad dentistry. Great joke! In the back, I have the solenoids used in order to control the pneumatic cylinder, along with the electronics used to manage the remainder of the turret. To control the pitch, I have a linear actuator attached to the tip of the pneumatic cylinder. As it extends into tracks, it can freely rotate up and down due to the bearings that are hooked up to the tail end of the cylinder. To aim my targets are not just above or below the barrel, I need to introduce yaw control, which I did with the servo driving a gear around the stand central shaft, while I have ball bearings managing the weight of the turret. After testing around a little bit, I ran into some stress issues on the load bearing 3D printed components that I was using. Turns out, it can't really bear that much weight. And I did some research and I discovered this thing called metal. That's the punchline. <laughs> so with a sturdy design, I now have a functional turret. This fucking game is for it. So when you get it in, Nope. I would show you the code that drives the turret, but you wouldn't care. So okay, next segment. Talking about the code would be pretty boring. Anyways, manually control turrets are for third rate engineers. And as a second rate engineer myself, I have the obligation to implement something that'd be able to track and shoot someone. This will be done with the feedback loop spanning the turret and the main computer. So the turret's camera captures a frame, sends it back to the main computer, which parses it for information and decides whether or not it needs to send an instruction back to the turret. If it does, it, it sends it. And this kind of just goes in the circle until someone gets hit with a ball. Precise aiming is hard. Fundamentally, I need to be able to rotate the turret to place the person in the center of the frame. If I were to send small increments to the turret in order to rotate on, it'll get there eventually, but it'll be very slow. If I were to give it larger increments, well, it'll just overshoot the target and kind of bob back and forth. So rather than doing any of that, I could just use trigonometry to solve all my problems. Thanks, math. That angle can then be translated into the real world with the aid of this rotary encoder and this gear shaft that I made. The frame data that I'm able to interpret is only a 2D representation of a 3D world. I'm able to see my quarry, but how do I know how far away it is? That's right, trig or gnomon tree. Using the camera's field of view, along with a laser pointer placed at a known distance away from the camera, I'm able to roughly deduce the distance from the turret to the target that's being hit by a laser pointer. To the right now. Then adding a gyroscope in order to figure out the launch angle, I have all that I need in order to figure out how far the ball will go based off of the launch angle and the source pressure. Hold it right there, bucko. First, I need to gather a bunch of data with those variables. Then, with all that data, create some cheese numeric magic black box that causes nerds everywhere to cry at the sin against physics that have brought into this world. Um, just use kinematics. Shut up, nerd. And now, finally, with that estimated distance and pressure, I can insert them into said box and it'll spit out a launching angle that I need to hit the target. My laptop is trash and couldn't handle running the OpenCV code, which is why I had to end up bringing my entire tower outside so I could touch some grass. Fuck JJ! Uh. <laughs> It kind of worked. Hit me! Oh. oh. No. Doesn't want to angle properly. That's right past me, the turret's angling. Sometimes it would attempt to change its angle, but that seemed to be a fluke. It couldn't properly distance the target, which led to it eventually failing to even play catch. You got this. You suck. 
The laser was diffusing slightly and getting washed out by the sun's light. This caused the red splotch that would eventually hit the target to be so faint that the turret couldn't identify it. Without an identifiable red dot, the turret would bottom out its angle and shoot perfectly straight. However, it occasionally mistook the redness of my hand as a laser pointer and performed an angling operation based on that. It would still be wrong, but it proved that the dumb regression function I made worked, it just wasn't getting the right red point from the laser. Squid Game. This project took a while because I had to rein in my expectations of building a cannon that could hit someone like a football field away. I also ran into a bunch of problems that wasted a lot of my time. Frying the raspberry pie. Shoddy wooden construction. Crooked shaft problem. Frying the pie again. Too much glue. Too little glue. Frying a raspberry pie. Not enough torque. Dying to nades. <laughs> JJ! Anyways, thank you for watching. Single viewer that made it to this point. I have numerous plans on improving the turret and you can catch me on Twitch uh, doing just that. Body. Oh Jesus. It sees a body everywhere. <laughs> oh my god, that's a lot of errors. <laughs> this video is brought to you by AI, a concept that will never turn on us. Well.